kind of just had to put this right in here and then push down. It almost feels like it's stuck. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Look at that. Oh. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to resell a pen again now. <laughs> Whether I hate it or love it. I'm sorry. How are you supposed to get that out though? I don't even have the fingernail strength to do to get that thing out now. I already tried to unscrew this part. This doesn't unscrew. What type of pen is this? I mean, it it, it really. Ma oh no. Oh no. Oh God no. Oh. Son of a. So, how do I how do I put this? I I bought a pen that I know nothing on, has no reviews, was extremely exclusive. I'm guessing was off eBay. That has a medium nib, although I prefer fine or extra fine. Uh, what else? It's really big, and I don't know if I can actually draw with it. And, uh, oh yeah, it's, it's really, really expensive for someone who just graduated college with debt. So, the, the, the way I'm going to excuse myself from all this stuff is, is you guys, I'm giving you a pen review, and then if you see it on eBay, you, you can get it. That's, that's by far the worst excuse I can give. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to draw something with this pen. I'm going to show you the pen, too. And then uh, I'll give a little review on why I like the pen or why I don't like a pe the, the pen. And if I don't like the pen, um, I, like, uh, I at least like the look of the pen. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. I just got the pen in the mail. It's called a, uh, a Russian Diver. Invicta watch. The company's called Invicta. Uh, other than that, I really don't know anything else about this company at all. And I thought that was pretty weird. Like, making a general search on this pen and what it's all about and what the company is, uh, literally the only information I get is what the pen is, which is a medium nib, and um, a few other specs with it that I'm not quite sure, um, in that it comes from Italy. Other than that, though, this pen is a mystery. So yeah, this is a uh, pretty light pen, actually. It's it's made out of aluminum, it says. It almost feels like this pen, the new one, is a bit lighter than this one, which is a Muji fountain pen. And I was honestly a little bit disappointed in the weight. The weight just seems very, very light, and it almost and I'm kind of betting on it that this is actually plastic up here. Some of this is made of plastic and this is supposed to be like a, a luxury pen. It's really pretty. When you see it online, when you see it in pictures, it looks like a heavy metal uh, pen that looks like you can just throw around and it literally wouldn't break. Not that I'm going to throw it around, but uh, yeah, super light and I'm a, I'm, a I'm a bit disappointed in it. However, it may help in the end run because it's very, very chunky, this pen. It, it, it's, it's, it's like a very thick size. So um, I'm kind of happy with that a, a little bit because when drawing, you don't want a pen to be too heavy. And I do believe that this is supposed to be a 18 karat gold plated nib. Although I'm not quite sure. I don't know if I, and it is a medium. Um, I personally like fine or extra fine with doing artwork, so uh, I don't know if it's going to fit the bill here, but um, <sighs> look, I liked the the look of this pen. It has a nice little, um, I almost called it an astronaut. It's a like a deep sea diver helmet icon on it. I like that about it. They have this cool little chain that may drive um, someone nuts. So this is how the pen looks like. 
the bottom. I'm going to screw this back on. Let's get into filling this pin up and using it, which I'm a little bit hesitant over because it's these cartridges, but let's go ahead and do that. The nib is extremely, extremely smooth in my opinion. I only have two to three fountain pens. This is very, very satisfying. I wonder if it's because of the gold nib. Uh, I, I do believe this is 18 karat. I'm not sure how that's possible because I only spent $90 on it, but I don't really know how much gold it is. But yes, very, very fun to write with. And I think it's... Uh, I think it's a great nib. I mean, I don't like medium. I like extra fine or fine. And I'm not seeing much of an issue with drawing with this. I could definitely do some nice doodles with this. Oh yeah. I don't really care for the color blue, so I'm probably gonna get some black ink in. Um, or maybe I'll just do a little doodle with it. Either way, I'm going to do a drawing, so uh, stick around, and it'll probably fast forward in a few days when I have more cartridges, but stick around, and yeah, get to a drawing. And hello everyone, I am back, and this is a drawing, um, oh, I, I'm guessing you already knew it was a drawing, uh, yeah, it was, it was nice, I, I'm very proud of this drawing, there is no, there are no complaints to this drawing, really, I mean, uh, could I have worried about uh, contrast? I feel like I always say that though. I always say that I want to have more contrast in something and then I never end up doing it or I end up uh, doing it a different way or something. Uh, but I like this drawing for what it is. Um, even though I don't like that saying, like what, what does that really mean when you say for what it is? I mean, of course it is, whatever, but I do like it. I eventually themed it space. It wasn't supposed to be space. I guess it wasn't supposed to be anything. I, I, it kind of just turned into space. Um, I will say that Sharpie markers can be very expensive, and they can be lifesavers, as you saw in the second video I ever made on this channel. Uh they can fill in large spots with black, and they are amazing for that. Never underestimate a Sharpie marker. Um, and these large areas that are dark and have a lot of contrast are wonderful. And the Sharpie marker is the way to go, honestly. I tried to do it through a fountain pen, and it just wasn't looking right. There was a lot of little line work and that was very distracting. I want a very nice, clean, black area. And I'm not saying the Sharpie is the best for it, because you can still kind of see uh, the marks that the Sharpie makes every once in a while. But, but that, that's okay. You can honestly edit that out later on in your photo. And, uh, but yeah, there's something so satisfying with a very, very dark area. Like, so dark especially when you edit the photo oh my gosh when you edit that photo and it shows this very dark area that kind of makes everything else pop out it's it's amazing it's absolutely amazing and um oh yeah my point was with the sharpie marker sharpie markers can be very expensive and when i say that however uh sharpies i don't know i think i saw them run like three dollars a pop to me, that's expensive. To me, that's, I don't know. Maybe it's not expensive to you. To me, it's a little bit expensive. But who, who am I to say I'm a, I mean, I, I did buy an $85 pen. Well, technically 90 whatever. I will kind of go over that pen soon. Um, but what I meant to finish with that is if you go to a Dollar Tree, they have these dollar Sharpie markers, and they're just as good. So for anyone looking for Sharpie markers that are cheaper, just go over to the uh, Dollar Tree. Um, I don't know if it's the same for the Dollar General, but at the, at the Dollar Tree, yeah, they're a dollar. Anyway, uh, so I have the pen here, um, the Invicta Deep Diver Russian watch. I'm not sure what makes it Russian. Maybe maybe it comes from the maybe it comes from Russia. I don't know. 
so here's my review about the pen. Is it worth the $90 I paid for it with the shipping and with the with the tax? No, it's not worth it. It's so disappointing that it doesn't have that real... I knew, I knew it was a aluminum, but like my Muji fountain pen is aluminum. And it has a very nice feel to it. It feels kind of cold, which I do like how it feels cold. Am I weird? Maybe. And I like how it has a very... Uh, not a very heavy, but a, a sort of weight to it. But when you when you pick up this pen, that's I mean, sorry, I just put it down. When you pick up this pen, this Invicta pen, it feels like you're getting it from the dollar store. It feels like one of those uh, multicolored pens. It kind of has like the weight of that, which is plastic. And some of the some of the things on it are definitely made of like a resin or a plastic on top and bottom and that's so annoying to me it's like this could have this could have been so much better in quality um and it's just totally not worth the 85 dollars if i were to estimate pens uh or if i were to estimate this the price of this pen if i were to say hey you should sell it for this amount i would say 40 bucks max I understand it has a golden a golden nib or something. Um, personally, what I would do is just say, "Hey, if you want a cheaper nib, then hey, pay me you know as much as forty bucks for the pen. If you want the gold nib, you know, pay you know more or something. You know, sell the sell the bodies. I don't know how fountain pens work, but sell the bodies because that's what I like about the pen. I like the body." I don't even care about the nib or the 18 karat nib, even though it was very smooth, in my opinion. Um, but it's not like it worked any better than uh, the Muji fountain pen, which I kind of adore. Um, yes, I did get this pen from a uh, for, from a review from Peter Draws. I'm heavily inspired by Peter Draws, so if you guys think you know, if you guys are wondering. Um, no, I'm not copying off Peter, but he inspired me so much to do this artwork that I started doing it, and I ended up loving it, which is very surprising. Um, like, I'm very inspired by Kim jong Gi, if that's his name, his artwork, but I just can't do it. And, I mean, I definitely could learn it, but I love doing this abstract art, art. and um, I'm definitely not trying to copy off Peter anyway. Even by these YouTube videos, uh, I'm just so inspired by the guy that, yeah, I give him all the credit, honestly. He's he's amazing what he does. Um, but, uh, yeah, this channel is really just for, um, I, I don't know, just putting out artwork, making videos. I love making videos in general. Um, sometimes I don't like making videos, but other times, it if it's for fun, if it's Unform, informal like this then I'm fine with it if it's very professional and if it's, I have to worry about every little detail then it just gets kind of it gets kind of frustrating and um, and these definitely have a certain pattern to them so I can kind of manipulate it to uh, fit whatever I really want which is nice uh, I don't have too much pressure with this channel and um, yeah that's what's nice about it so, um, okay, back to the pen. I like the color. I like some of the parts to it. Some are metallic, some are plastic, which are pros and cons there, I guess. Um, yeah, I like the look. Uh, s a lot of it can be better, though. It can be way better. And the, the biggest gripe I have with it, again, is the weight. Um, for a pen like this, you would think it'd be too heavy, but it's actually just too light. Why can't it be a little bit more heavier? Why can't it feel like a little bit more quality has gone into it for an $85 pen? Again, if this pen was $30 or, uh, I don't know, for, uh, yeah, $30, then I wouldn't complain as much. But because it's at the price point of I bought for 75 but I paid 94 with tax and shipping. Because I paid $90 for it, I expected a lot more quality to be put into it. Um, and it just seems cheaply made. And I'm really sad about that. But I will keep it. It's a, it's still a nice pen to show off or whatever. 
I don't think I'm going to be showing my penance off anytime soon. Um, but yeah. So I have no idea where the drawing is right now. Um, but I'm probably definitely, well, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely going to fit the audio with the video. And I know the video is going to go on for longer than five minutes because this, this was a long drawing. I, I think I estimated it to be uh, roughly six hours. Could be more. Maybe it could be less, but I really think it's probably around six hours or more. Um, so it's going to be a longer video, especially this one since it's a, it's a pen review. So um, ultimately, do I recommend this pen? No, there's definitely cheaper pens out there. There's cheaper, better pens out there. Um, and I, I don't know, maybe I'll do another video like this because I've been going a little bit crazy buying fountain pens to draw with, um, even though I, sh <laughs> I shouldn't be spending this much money for them. Uh, but yeah, maybe along the line, I am working on, well, working is a debatable word for this, but I am quote unquote working on a bigger art piece. I have not worked on it for like five or six days now. Um, I think it's one of the first drawings where I'm actually spending time on where to put stuff and I'm actually caring about what I'm putting in it. So, um, that's just, that's just going to take longer. It's like, it's going to be like a 40 hour drawing or something. I don't know. Uh, I'll add up the time I'm sure. But, uh, yeah, this is my drawing, uh, for today. Uh, added Sharpie, added the, of course, the fountain pen, the Invicta working on that pretty nice pen to draw with. Uh, no, no issues with the nib really. And, um, yeah, it does use a converter piston. So really happy about that. Uh, yeah, probably should talk about that more just really fast. It does accept a universal piston. Uh, the piston I tried putting it was a hung, did hung it in a piston, which is not universal. And that's why I was so disappointed. I put the cartridge in and then I realized that and I put the universal piston in. But anyway, um, all right, I'm going to go take a nap or something. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, subscribe and follow me on Instagram to see pictures early of my artwork. And also maybe catch a live stream. Uh, should be live streaming more than I do. But um, recently my, my hand's been kind of cramping up with this stuff, so... It kind of just depends. All right. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.